We are working on coming up with the techniques of differentiation, but unfortunately I haven't shown you any of these techniques yet because we are working on the foundation pieces behind them. We have one more foundation piece to use here, and so let's go ahead and get right into that problem. It is another three-part problem. In the first part, we want to find the derivative of y equals x squared and of y equals x cubed. Hopefully, from those two pieces, you can detect a pattern. And then from that pattern, you can find the derivative of y equals x to the fourth and quite a big jump here, y equals x to the 37th. Again, you have all the material to come up with this information here. So this is the perfect time to pause the video and see if you can find that pattern on your own. Okay, so part A, find the derivative of the function y equals x squared. Again, I am not going to compute this or show you the work behind this because we already did this in the second foundation piece. So we know that the derivative of this piece, dy dx, gives us 2x. Now we do have to compute the derivative of this one here because we have not done that work yet. Okay, so here's my work, again, the three-step process, the first step of f of x plus h, the second step of my difference quotient where almost everything cancels out. That leads me to my third step down here, the limit as h goes to zero. The only piece that doesn't have an h involved is this piece right here, and so that gives us the derivative of this function right here, y equals x cubed, our derivative is dy dx equals 3x squared. So we have finished up part A, trying to compute those two derivatives. So now we get to move on part B, and hopefully we can figure out the pattern that's supposedly happening here. So let's just refresh our memory and see what we did. We had first y equals x squared, and the derivative of that gave us 2x. Second, we had y equals x to the third power, and the derivative of that was 3x squared. So can we come up with the pattern? And if you don't see it right now, I suggest that you really pause the video and you really think about it, because this is the pattern that's going to give us one of our major techniques of differentiation. So this is what the pattern is. We take our exponent, we bring it down, it becomes a coefficient in front of the variable, and we take our old exponent and we subtract 1 to give us our new exponent. So this is x to the first power here, even though we didn't write it in the first place. So if we look at it again with this, y equals x cubed, we take our exponent, we bring it down, it becomes our coefficient in front, and then we take our new exponent, and it comes from one less of our old exponent. So if we had y equals x to the nth power, and so this is what's going to give us the pattern, we take our exponent, it becomes a coefficient down in front, so this is n now times x, and we take our new exponent, and it becomes one less than our old exponent. So our coefficient in front came from our old exponent, and our new power came from one less of our old power. So now from this pattern, we should be able to figure out the derivatives of these two here pretty easily. So if y equals x to the fourth, our dy dx is bring our 4 down, x and we subtract 1 from our exponent. So our derivative here is 4x to the third. And so likewise, our derivative of y equals x to the 37, we take our 37, bring it as a coefficient in front, we multiply it by x, and then we subtract 1 from our original power. So if we have 37, if we subtract 1, it becomes 36. So now we know the derivative or we know the techniques of differentiation of how to do anything to a power. So this is one of our major techniques of differentiation. Okay, 
At this point, we have worked through all of our foundation pieces. And so next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be talking about some of those differentiation techniques, those shortcuts, as I like to call it here. And so in this section, from here on out, the derivatives are going to seem extremely easy. And again, you're going to wonder why I didn't show you these techniques before, because they're going to make your life, at least at this time, a whole lot easier.